Are you struggling with API request limits in Laravel? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to override the default throttle settings for your API routes. I totally get it. When you're building APIs, hitting those request limits can be a real headache. You want to ensure your application runs smoothly without unnecessary restrictions. Here's the situation. One user asked how to increase the throttle limit for specific routes in Laravel. They mentioned using the default throttle setting of 60 requests per minute, but wanted to increase it for certain post routes. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's happening here? The default throttle middleware is set in the kernel file, and when you try to override it in your route file, it doesn't seem to work. This can be confusing, but don't worry, we'll clarify this and stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set custom throttle limits for your API routes, and I promise it will be worth your time. To override the default throttle setting for specific routes, the user needs to define a custom middleware. This middleware will allow them to specify different throttle limits for different routes. Next, the user should open the newly created middleware file and modify it to accept custom throttle limits. They can extend the existing throttle middleware functionality. After setting up the custom middleware, the user should register it in the kernel file. This will make it available for use in the routes. Now, the user can apply the custom throttle middleware to their specific routes. They can specify the desired throttle limits directly in the route definition. Finally, the user should test the routes to ensure that the new throttle settings are working as expected. They can use tools like Postman to send requests and verify the limits. Fun fact, did you know that Laravel's middleware system is so flexible that you can create your own custom middleware for just about anything? It's like having your own toolbox. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests using a prefix to prevent conflicts with the global throttle settings in Laravel. They recommend using the throttle middleware with a prefix, like throttle 51 prefix, to set a specific limit for certain routes. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. One user explains that in Laravel 5 time X, all throttle instances share the same rate limit bucket. This means if you set different throttle limits in various routes, they will still affect each other. For example, if a user can search 100 times an hour and emails five times an hour, exceeding the search limit will also prevent them from emailing. They note that this limitation is resolved in Laravel 6 and later, where named throttles allow for separate buckets. Here's the pro tip. Always test your routes after making changes to ensure that the new throttle settings are working as expected. This will save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to customize your API throttle settings with ease. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more Laravel tips and tricks.